Earth's stratospheric ozone layer is a belt of naturally occurring ozone gas that sits 10 to 30 miles above Earth and serves as a shield from the harmful ultraviolet radiation emitted by the sun. This layer filters out harmful sun rays, including a type of sunlight called ultraviolet B. Exposure to ultraviolet B has been linked to cataracts and skin cancer, and has also been linked to crop injury and damage to ocean plant life. Clearly, it is vitally important for all life on Earth to assure that the ozone layer continues working optimally. Because this layer is so important, it came as a great shock to scientists in the 1970s and 80s when they found that the ozone layer was in fact being damaged in some way. Scientists around the world began to see a shift in our atmosphere, finding that in some places our ozone layer was disappearing at a rapid rate. It found that the main culprit for this rapidly diminishing ozone layer was a man-made substance called chlorofluorocarbon, or CFCs. With alarm bells sounding, the worldwide community acted, and in 1987 produced the Montreal Protocol, which was designed to protect the ozone layer by phasing out the production of substances responsible for ozone depletion. It was also determined that we would need to monitor the Earth's ozone levels to better understand what was going on in the stratosphere. Since the original discovery of the ozone problem, NASA has led the world in monitoring the ozone layer. On today's episode of NASA X, we'll look back at some of those earlier missions and also explore the latest mission to monitor the ozone, called SAGE-3. We will follow the SAGE-3 team through the test phase to better understand how this mission will work and what we can expect when it is launched. We'll also get a better understanding of our fragile atmosphere and what we need to do to safeguard it for future generations.